Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Bridget. We're here trusting that you are doing well, my sister and brother. I forgot I had these, um, my headphones on, and I took my purse already in the house, so here we go. Because sometimes with the headphones, it's like it kind of static, has a lot of static, so I'm not quite sure. Can you, I hope you guys can hear me. Hope you guys can hear me. It's kind of a little bit dark here. It is a little bit dark, my sister, my brother, but nevertheless, let us get started. So this is Birda, a warrior. And for those of you that are supporting my ministry, and uh, thank you, thank you so much for doing that. And for those of you that would like to purchase my book, you could go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. And there's also a free book there. And the second book is bit.ly, the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. So my listener, can you hear me? And is it too dark? So I could just do some adjustment here. I am not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, I've been running this morning, been running, running, running. And we we'll talk about that later. Let me get into my topic. And so we're going to do the proper attitude. That is the devotion, proper attitude. Don't we need an attitude adjustment sometime? I don't know about you, but sometimes I need an attitude adjust adjustment. So this is on the book, You Shall Receive Power by Ellen G. White. So it's state proper attitude. So before we go into our topic, let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for this mountain, Father God, the, um, the different family that lives up here, Father God. We ask you that you will give them a blessing, Father God, from on high. I thank you for my listener right now, Father God. We ask you that you will bless them as well, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Wow, I thank the Lord for the wind that's blowing because it's right now it's very humid and it's a cool uh, wind that is blowing. So it is a blessing. I tell you, God always gives you what you need at the time you need it. It's like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes we always need to be in a spirit of gratitude, my sister and brother. So if you're one of those ones that have like maybe an attitude issue, you are not putting a lot of gratitude in what you're doing. You need to look and see how God has blessed you. Or even today, you don't even have to look at what happened yesterday. You can look from the time you woke up this morning to the things that God has allowed to happen in your life. And it's a it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It doesn't matter uh, the good, the bad, and the indifference. All work together for our good. Keep that in mind. So let's get into the proper attitude. And it says, look to yourself that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrines of Christ has not God. He that abided in the doctrines of Christ, he had both the Father and the Son. And this is coming from 2 Peter chapter 8. Uh, no, 2 Peter, 2 Peter uh, verses 8 and 9. 2 Peter verses 8 and 9. Okay. Father God, as we go into our lesson today, Father God, actually, Father God, that you open our hearts and mind to receive this information. I thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And it stayed here. Soon, every possible effort will be made to discount and pervert the truth of the testimony of God's spirit. We must have in readiness the clear, straight message that since 1846 has been coming to God's people. There will be those once united with us in faith who will search for new, strange doctrines for something odd and sensational to present to the people. They will bring in a conceivable fallacy and will present them as coming from Mrs. White, that they may beguile souls. Those who have treated the light that God has given as a common thing will not be benefited by the instruction presented. Let me repeat this. Those who have treated the light that God has given as a common thing will not be benefited by the instruction presented. There are those who will misinterpret the message that God has given in accordance with 
their spiritual blindness. Some will yield their faith and will deny the truth of the message, pointing to them as falsehood. Some will hold them up to ridicule, working against the light that God has been given for years. And some who are weak in the faith will thus be led astray. Let me repeat this. Yeah, this, this is really what's, what's going on right now. It says, some will hold them up to ridicule, working against the light that God has been given for years. And some who are weak in the faith will thus be led astray. But others will be greatly helped by the message, though not personally addressed. They will be corrected and will be led to shun the evil as, as specified. The spirit of the Lord will be in the instructions and the doubt exists in many minds will be swept away. The testimonies themselves will be the key that will explain the message given as scripture is explained by scripture. Let me repeat that. The testimony, meaning your testimony, what God has done for you, the testimony themselves will be the key that will explain the message given as scripture is explained by scripture many will read with eagerness the message reproving wrong that they may learn that they may do let me go back that they may learn what they may do to be saved so let me repeat this mess let me repeat this um sentence many will read with eagerness the message reproving wrong that they may learn what they may do to be saved. These messages are to find their place in hearts and transformation will take place. Let me repeat this. These messages are to find their place in hearts and transformation will take place. So that concludes my topic, my sister, my, my brother, my devotion, the proper attitude, the proper attitude. Yes, yes, yes. We need to have a proper a change of attitude with some of the things that we think about, my sister and brother. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about your relationship with Jesus. So we either go giving a right example of what Jesus is or we're giving a, uh, a negative report. So we have to be very mindful. Got to be very mindful. So let me go ahead and close out this message and then I'll continue. Father God, I thank you, Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you for this message, Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Father God, be with my sister, my brother right now, Father God, as our prayers goes up, Father God, we thank you that you have already dispatched angels to answer our prayer, Father God. If we have said or done anything, Father God, that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you that you wash us and make us whiter than snow. Once you've done that, Father God, we surrender our lives to you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so let me tell you what something that happened to me today. You know, sometimes you plan and you plan and you plan, and sometimes it's like you make a plan and it's like, oh, okay. And then you have other instructions to do, but then if you don't take the instructions right then, then you move on to another uh, topic or another, um, maybe another thing that you need to deal with, and then you finally forgot. You all find it like, oh, I forgot. And then it's like, okay, so I, as, I was, as, I was, as I was driving, 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 because, you know, I live in the mountains, right? So, like, the nearest town, the bigger town, is like an hour from here. Whether I go to Visalia or I go to Fresno, it's an hour away, either, either direction, right? So I decided to had an errand into Fresno. And so, and that's like about, uh, it's like, uh, uh, how would you say? It's like an hour. It's like a hundred miles, actually. It's like a hundred miles because it's like uh, 40 something miles there based on what you're going to do. And so as I was in town, it's like, okay, I had a, a schedule to be um, at a certain place by 11 o'clock. But since I was in town, you know how gas prices are, right? I decided it's like, okay, since I'm already here over on this side of town, I just need to do my, you know, my, my little errands. And um, I, I got this this uh, new thing that I'm doing. I just love to have like soups. And so I usually put my fresh uh, organic vegetable in there. So I, of course I, 
I don't have any more that I you know the ones that I really like to put in there. And so, of course, I decided since I'm right here, I might as well just go ahead and do my little errands since I'm over on that side of town. So I don't have to go back out another day uh, for 100 miles and then do it then. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So I went from here, from this point to that point, And I had a good timing. But here's the thing I forgot. So usually when I know that I'm going to be out, even though I might, might be on time, but I usually take my, my materials with me. So... Uh, I remember to take it, but then uh, I just forgot because I didn't move swiftly into doing what I was supposed to do in putting the stuff in the car and my tripod and the book or whatever, whatever. And so that's why I was like, because if I had stayed in town and then just did the videos, I would have been fine. I would have been fine. I would have been able to make it for 11 o'clock. But because I am so, how would you say, going from one top, going from one uh, I would say one project, project, I like I say project, as, uh, it's not no challenges, it's projects. I go from one project to the next project to the next project. And if I don't make a note right then or move on that project right then, then because I'm so into all the other stuff, I use, I use, I find myself forgetting. And so that's what happened this morning. So, um, Forgive me for my tardiness this morning, and uh, so that was that. So that was what I was doing. And so when I came back to deliver the project to the person, they went. They were at lunchtime, so um, so I didn't make it because if I had made it at 11 o'clock, and that was my time to get back to them, 11 o'clock, I would have been fine. But I was like 37 minutes late, so not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. But nevertheless, you see, I we serve a merciful God, and I love driving in the country. You see the mountains. So for me, if if I have an attitude and I need to get my attitude adjusted, <laughs> when I look at the mountain and see what a mighty God we serve, the different size of the mountain and different greenery on the, on the mountain or, or nothing on the mountain or different wildflowers, it's like, oh God, you're so you're so good. And then when I'm looking at the ground and see the little ant. How they're going from one thing to the next, and they're just going focus on their responsibility that they have to do. So are we, my sister and brother. So in nature, we can learn so much about God and how patient God is with us, my sister and brother. So just do your attitude adjustment, uh, whatever that is, my sister and brother, because there's no there's no point to be sour. You know, I got some lemons down there that I need to, to, to pick, and I have some in my bowl on there. So you there, it doesn't make sense for you to, you know, cut the lemon and, and then um, drink the lemon juice, and you know how you look, mouth, your face looks so sour, right? So we don't want you to have that sour face. So with the lemonade, you might want to go ahead and put some um, brown sugar in there, or maybe you want to put some agave in there, <laughs> or you maybe you might want to put some uh, some honey in there, you know, so make it sweet so you don't have to. So what I mean that as life comes to you, my sister and brother, and you got challenges, right? It doesn't make sense for you to walk around with a sad face or a sorry looking face because you got to go through it anyhow. So, so why not go through it with a smile on your face? With, with joy in your heart, and you make it easier on yourself so you don't be so stressed out. Does that make sense? So don't have that sour face, you know, like you just ate a sour lemon, right? Right, right? And so do that, my sister brother. Yesterday I had made some, um, I have a, a grapefruit tree, so it's pink grapefruit. So I went and I squeezed a couple of them, I think about four or five, and I, that's all it, I was just drinking that. And it was like, it was so refreshing because, you know, sometimes we drink um, grapefruit juice. It's like, it's kind of sour. But this was so sweet. It was so sweet. It was really so sweet. And it's like, God, you are so good. You are so good. So my sister and brother, so just pretend that you having this this um, this grapefruit, the special grapefruit off the tree. And it's so sweet and and juicy. Okay. So do that instead of having, instead of going over on this side <laughs> and take my lemon, take my lemon and you're juicing the lemon and you're just drinking the lemon juice so straight. And then that gives you like a sour face, a no sour face today. Okay. So whatever you do, do with love, my sister and brother. 
do with love and you will be thankful at the end of the day because guess what it's going to um put off the strain on your heart it, it, it puts some pep in your step you're a little bit more cheery regardless of whatever going on but just take it to the lord in prayer and leave it there so this is Burdell. so that is one of my how would you say one of my um uh one of my prayers praise report uh today so i mean it's a praise report it doesn't matter what i do it's still a praise report right and so uh just my sister brother whatever we do let's continue to be in a spirit of gratitude 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 it doesn't matter what you're going through still be loving and kind i know sometimes it can be very stressful but just think about something else maybe you walking on the beach with your shoes off you know, and you feel that wind just blowing on your face, you know, and you with the love of your life, you know, that is the type of, you know, that will be maybe one of the the memory that you should have in, in, in your in your memory. So you can bring that up when things when life is trying to hit you here and hit you there. Just have something. Uh, a nice memory to be, to bring back or maybe uh, a song, you know, a song that you can hum or a song that you can remember or a scripture or a hymn that you can remember and then just hum that to, to bring your attitude on a higher level, a higher level, my sister and brother. Because we as children of God, we need to rise to a higher level. We need to have a deeper relationship with the Lord. And my sister and brother, when we think about Jesus and all he went through, it's like our our challenges or our problems, it should shrink completely down because there's no comparison what he went through and what we're going through now. And you know what? All the tests we're going through, we guys have to go through it. And guess what? You have to pass the test. You have to pass the test and I have to pass the test because here it is. If we don't pass the test, we're going to have to go through it again. So why not pass it the first time around? Last night I was up late. Because I was doing this process and I was, and then after you finish one chapter, it gives you these different tests and you pay, have to pass it. So I remember I got like maybe three right in this test and then there was one. And then so I had to go back to that one and correct it before I was able to exit to go to, to get the grade and then go over to the next lesson. So just, so just like that, my sister and brother, we as Christians have to pass the test because why? Our salvation is all depending on us passing the test because if we are not able to pass the small test right now, my sister and brother, how are you going to be able to, to run with the footman, with the foot, with the horseman? You know, you could, you could take a leisure walk, but what about when life gets so challenges, gets so hard? What are you going to do then? You're going to run? No, we have to face it. So why not face the challenges, small challenges now, and then God will increase it to bigger ones, bigger ones, because we have to have the character of Christ in order to make it in. And so as God the Father is polishing us, saw, see things in us that is not of him, my sister and brother, just give him praise, honor, and glory. And if you complain... You're going to get more of it, my sister and brother. So as God the Father measured the bitter cup that each one of us have to drink, let us put some um, some uh, sweetener in the bitter cup, and that is patient, endurance, and prayer. What did I say? Patient, endurance, and prayer. And if you're not doing those three right now, my sister and brother, when it gets harder, what are you going to do? Because God also stated that we are not going to have no earthly support for what is about to happen, what, what about to happen on this world, no earthly support. So it's time for us to make sure that we are standing on God's side. So thank you, my sister, brother. So this is Birdell Warrior. So Father God, I thank you for this message. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father God, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. So uh, right now, my sister, brother, you can go to YouTube under Birdell Warrior, hit the subscribe button. There's a wealth of information there. Uh, you could find my videos there as well. My um, of course, you can find my videos. I'm talking about my books. And uh, you can go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book is bit.ly, the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. So thank you so much, my sister and brother. And uh, with that, have a super awesome day. And let us do the four um, hugs for survival. I'm not sure with my headphone. I think I need to get some new headphones. So 
I should have took these guys off. But nevertheless, let us do the four hugs. I hope you guys can hear me. Hope you can hear me. Here, here we go. One, two, three, one more. Four. Thank you, my sister and brother. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I tell you, there's nothing like um, being uh, a child of God. I love you, my sister and brother. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.